Republican leader McConnell broke his word to me. In December of 2014, Republican leader and the senator from South Dakota, Senator Thune, came to me here on the floor, asked me if I would agree to confirm a Republican commissioner to the Federal Communications Commission. The, man, the man's name was Michael Riley. And uh, he had worked for John Kyle and John Cornyn. Cornyn was still here, of course, and Kyle had left, and we all, I had great respect for John Kyle, being from my neighboring state of Arizona. And so I said this is kind of an unusual request, since everyone knows uh, that the two leaders, when we have uh, a commission that we're going to staff with our selections, he, he and I have the right to do that, that we always pair them, a Democrat or Republican, and Democrat or Republican. We pair them. We do them together. So I said to my friend from South Dakota and my friend from Kentucky that that didn't sound like the right thing to do for me. But they talked for a while longer, and I, uh, my heart said do it. My head said don't. My heart won, and I relented after having made an arrangement, an agreement with them, that um, we would go ahead and do O'Reilly right then. I would agree to do that, provided that when the new Congress convened in less than a month, uh, that we would take care of the Republican, I mean, take care of the Democrat. I'm sorry, Mr. President. Her name is Jessica Rosenworcel. Um, that was the agreement. That's how we would pair one Republican with a Democrat, as is our custom. But I repeat, I said, I agree, we'll go ahead and do him now. He didn't have a job, and uh, so I was told and needed to do that. They promised me that they would confirm Rosenthal the next Congress. I wasn't there alone. I had my staff with me, so it's uh, not me saying one thing. I don't think anyone denies the conversation. Mr. President, I didn't have to agree to this. I did it because the Republican leader said he would do his part and get her confirmed. I'm sorry to report to the world, to the Senate, that I was wrong. Over the last 16 months, the Republican leader has refused to fulfill his commitment. He hasn't kept his word. Republicans 